So next up, we're going to be looking at changing a filter setting. So this can be for any filter. So I could be here all day talking about it. I'm just going to give you a few examples. So I've got my video capture device just here. I'm going to right click it and go to filters. I'm going to add an effect filter. I'm going to use the crop pad because that's a nice simple one. Press OK. And you've got obviously four, well, five options because you've got the relative value as well. But I'm just going to change these to, we'll say 200 from the left. We'll say uh, 100 from the top. We'll say from the right, 300, and the bottom, we'll say 400. So we've got a, a random kind of crop there, uh, as you can see just here. So now we can go to scene collection like we did before and press export. I'm going to save it to my desktop like we did before and press yes. And now I'm going to open that up and take a little look. So there's not going to be as much there because we've deleted it all back to one scene. But if I copy all that, we can put it into the, uh, the JSON viewer on here and go to the viewer. We'll see sources similar to what we did before. Press zero because that's the top one that we've got there. And it's the video capture device. But if you go a little bit further up, you'll see we've got the filters option now. So we can open that up and we've got zero because there's only one filter on there. And that's the first one. Press the plus sign and you'll see all the information about it. It's the crop pad filter. We've got the, the settings just further down. So if we press the settings button, you'll see the bottom, the left, the right, and the top. And they're all the figures that we've put in there. Again, moving back to the text file, we, we can actually find that manually in here as well. So if we have a little scroll around, it usually just jumps out to me like there. You can see the filters section that we're in, and we've got the this section just here. Don't get me wrong, you can always do um, control F and find it. Uh, but I, I always like to get my eyes trained, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then if I remove the... The white space, you'll see bottom, left, right, and top. So I'm just going to copy this for now. And we're going to create a new command in the Orem board. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put, uh, uh, crop, uh, what, what should we call it? Crop, uh, change default, which is what we're, we're on now. We'll call this our default crop. We'll edit the commands. I'm going to delete this because I didn't mean to it. Uh, copy and paste but if we go into here and we'll type settings as we do previously go to filter settings the source is going to be the video capture device the filter is crop and pad and i'm just going to paste that directly in there press done and press done again now when we go into obs and press this button nothing's going to happen because it's setting the figures to what they are now of the 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 filter settings so let's kind of modify that a little bit so if we go back into the orange board and i'm going to copy this button and paste it here and I'm going to call this um, crop change one, for instance, press OK, press edit. And we can change all these numbers now. So from the top, we want it to, we'll say crop it zero. So reset it from the right. We'll say uh, do 500, oh, 590 from the left. We'll say zero as well. And from the top, uh, from the bottom, sorry, as you can see just here, we'll do 900. Press done, press done again, and then now we'll see the button here, we press that, we've got two different crops whenever we want. So that is changing the filter settings live, which is really nice, and it just means that it kind of opens it up. You probably won't see anything change here, because you'd have to refresh this page just like so. But if I changed it to that, and then open the filter page again, you'll probably see that it will have changed. In fact, that's the same one, Andy, good job. Uh, press the filters menu and it will have refreshed just there. So we can do this for multiple different filters as well. So if I open another filter and say use one that I've downloaded from Excel Drive, like the, the freeze just here. So we've got loads of settings for this one. We can do the, the mask and only freeze half of the, the screen if we really want to. Like this, I'm going to leave it on 57% like that. And I'm going to leave this crop. I'm going to turn the crop off actually. And we'll uh, get this set up just like this. Um, where it kind of cuts my face off, we'll cut the top off as well, and then I can still move around, but them two bits will stay frozen, which is kind of weird, because then you get some trippy effects. Press close, we go to scene collection again, press export, and we're going to save that to my desktop again, press yes, we're going to replace it, jump to the desktop, open this up, and we'll see it's probably got a little bit bigger now, because we've got a load more settings in there. So copying it, pasting it into here, we can view the viewer again if we want to, the sources is the first source, the filters, we'll see we've got two filters in there now, zero and one, so zero, because the newest, uh, the top one is going to be the crop and pad still, and then the one is going to be the new one that we've put on, because that's underneath, and we can go to settings just here, and we'll see we've got the mask true, we've got mask left, mask top, uh, mask top as well. 
so we can get that information we're going to jump into the uh, the text file as well which is really nice and and find where that is in there if we really want to so we got the crop and pad just here a bit further down we got freeze filter just there so i can copy this little setting section and then delete everything and paste it in remove the white space and we'll see we've got this section just here so i'm going to change this crop now to we'll say 50 50 for instance so if we did 50 and 50 uh, mass true that's fine and we're going to copy that create a new button in leon bud as we've done previously and we'll call this uh, freeze on edit we're going to add the settings for filter change settings video capture the freeze filter this time i'm going to paste that in there like so press done i'm going to copy this button we're going to create a new one and we'll do freeze off and we'll kind of just change it just a little bit so uh, change text, freeze off, press OK, press edit, and we can change these numbers in here if we want to. So I'm going to change it to uh, 20 by 20. Press done, press done again, and now we can go into OBS and fiddle about with this. And as you can see, I'm frozen. We've changed them numbers there. As you saw that change when it unfroze, unfreeze this here, freeze back on freeze off and it's kind of freezing different angles because it depends what you've got in here for this one so if i turn the mask off it'll unfreeze it for a second um sorry if i turn it off and refreeze it again with the the effect on and off now we'll have different results so if i went all the way over here for instance press freeze you can't see any changes just yet but if i add them in you'll see it froze us over in that one position so it can be quite complicated to do these uh, filter change settings and stuff like that, but it literally gives you unlimited power to control any source through WebSocket.